everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with a really, really quick video. I totally promise, pinky promise. So here's the thing. I talked about this product in one of my favorites videos. This is the original RMCA makeup, which stands for the Research Council of Makeup Artists. So it is called No Color Powder. And I told you guys that I have been using it to set my under eye concealer for I guess maybe now the last five or six makeup looks. Now I got so many questions and y'all know, y'all know how we do over here, okay? Y'all know how I am. If I feel like there are enough questions for me to make a video and not just respond in the comments and Snapchat and all that kind of stuff, I definitely try to address them in a video. So I'm just gonna walk you through the process of how I do it, starting with my concealer and then setting it with this powder. And then I'm gonna answer as many questions as I can as I go. And I'm also gonna show you the final look. So this video should totally be under five minutes. Like I'm totally gonna try. So let me just give you an eensy beensy story, okay? So basically I heard about this powder all on YouTube. Y'all know how stuff gets hyped up, like hyped all the way up on YouTube, right? YouTube totally makes you feel like you have to have it like here and now. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all, when I'm in my happy place, that totally means I'm rocking the unit, okay? Now, back to the powder. So I went to a makeup event. I believe it was the makeup show LA. I went there and I got this product, which was like back in March. So when I tried tried the product, I first tried it on my face because I had a whole lot of shine going on on my face. And I was like, let me try this powder to see if it knocks off the shine. Well, the product totally knocked off the shine. It was translucent and it didn't give me like a cast or anything, but I was still a little iffy about trying it under my eye, okay? So I was recently in a photo shoot and in the photo shoot, they actually used this powder on me to set my under eye concealer. And so I was kind of like, you know, I was kind of intrigued by it. I was like, hmm. So I started using it, but I did a dibba dabba do ya. And after that, you guys, it has been working great. I have not had any flashback, but listen, I don't use a whole lot. So rather than tell you about how I use it, y'all know what I say. I could show you better than I could tell you. Let's go. So this right here is the Too Faced Concealer. And this is in the color dark. I actually use two colors to get my exact color, but enough of that, I'm gonna speed through this. So I'm gonna be like road runner, okay? <laughs> After I get my concealer on, I let it sit for a little bit because this Too Faced concealer right here is very, very hydrating. And to avoid or to minimize creasing, I should say, I just let it sit and I let it get a little bit tacky and then I blend it out, all right? I also have a video where I compared my Ben Nye banana powder with the Sasha Buttercup powder, and I explained to you guys why I don't really bake. So I am not gonna bake with this RCMA powder, but you can totally bake if you want to. It's your prerogative. So now that that's done, I do blend it in a little bit more so there is no creasing. And then I dip the same side of my beauty blender or beauty sponge, whatever you're using, into the RCMA powder, and that's what it looks like. And I do go in it a couple of times, but I start off slow. I would rather start off slow than put a whole lot and then have to correct it. So I just get to blend it. I get to patting it in. But I love the finish of it, and I love the way that it just blends in with whatever you use. It doesn't change the color, but it brightens. And then when I take pictures, it doesn't look like it's a cast or anything, but it looks like it's brightened. It just, it looks really good. So I've been using this a lot lately. Been giving my Ben Nye a break. So this is the second time. And you know, you do as much as you need, you know what I mean? But look at how flawless that is. You get, oh, it's just amazing. Now to be honest, I put more than I usually would, but it's all good. That totally rhymes. Say what? So I guess I will talk about this part too because it's really crucial to having everything blend together and it look flawless. I do switch powders, but for this look, I'm using the BH Cosmetics. But what I like to do, because this powder is really, really brightening and I want everything to blend, I take the powder from the BH and then I go around those areas that I set with the RCMA, right? So that the highlight is still in this region, but everything blends seamlessly. 
So I'm going to do everything else and I will come back and I will show you how everything meshes together. It looks very flawless and it's just safe to say that I'm in love with this powder. I will definitely be alternating between that and my Ben Nye Banana Powder and I still will be working on a setting powder or battle of the setting powders or under eye setting powders for you guys. I have not forgotten, I promise. So that is it. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Sinky beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Sinky beauty makeover. Hey. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Yeah. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games. It's the Sinky beauty. Yeah, Sinky beauty.